Guys, welcome back. We are here live at the SMWW Football Conference, and joining me right now is Kristen, who is the owner and founder of K Sports Entertainment. Is that correct? Yes. All right, awesome. So thank you for joining us. I really Thanks. appreciate it. Uh, you know, we just heard you speak in there to the entire uh, team, the entire network of sports, and from an, from a woman's perspective and from an agent perspective. Can you talk to us about your involvement with Sports Management Worldwide? Sure. Um, I have been involved with Sports Management Worldwide for probably 10 years, I would oh. have to guess. Okay. Um, and I've been invited, uh, luckily, every year to come and speak on the agent panel. Um, I think there are a couple of other panels that I've spoken on in, in the past. And um, it's been an amazing experience. I really believe that there should be more programs like this, um, especially if people want to, are interested in getting involved in the sports field right. without having to go and spend all the money to go to you know, college or whatnot. You know, dip your toe in and take an online course or come to this and network. And it's been a really great experience for me to be able to hopefully have something to, to say to a lot of the, the students that are here that, that I mean, want to learn. I mean, a lot of people always listen. I know when, when the subject of agent comes up, there seems to be an abundance of people who want to get involved. They want that that agent lifestyle. You know, we go back to the days of the, the Jerry Maguires. Everybody wants to be, you know, Jerry. Uh, but now they want to be Kristen because we see more women who are getting involved in this. Can you, can you speak to that? And, and what separates you from the rest, basically? Sure. So I started in 1994, okay. so right out of law school, um, and I really, at that point, was the only woman that I would see at the Combine. Um, you know, over the years, that's changed a lot. Um, Kelly Masters, who I know you've, you've interviewed and yeah. spoke on the panel today. Um, uh, Kim Miali, who's now with Rock Nation, who has, last year had um, Saquon Barkley. So more and more women are, um, are now in the business. You know, for me, it's really been persistence and not listening to the people that said no. And there were a lot of people that said, no, you can't do it. Mm -hmm. And you have to dig deep within yourself and find that confidence level and, and just keep going. Um, so, you know, there's no, I wish I could say there was like a secret sauce. It's, you know, it's networking, it's um, being trustworthy, you know, doing what you say you're gonna do for your clients. And more than anything, being persistent and, and networking and staying involved with um, in communication with scouts and teams and that's so about it. If someone wants to get on Kristen's radar, how do they set themselves apart by not only going through SMWW, but how do they stay on your radar to where when you think of maybe hiring an intern or maybe bringing someone on, that person's at the top of your list? Sure. Um, I, well, it's it, I think it's 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 both persistence okay. and experience and so you know we obviously like to to hire interns that have had some experience or may have some connection in sports that maybe they know a, a potential client etc um, but some don't have any of that and it's really them being professional being persistent thinking outside the box of you know it may be hey you know what i'm a student at you know, Endicott College, and I know someone at Boston College, and here's a scouting report on this player. Or, you okay. know, do you? I see that you um, are producing an event. I'd like to come and be a volunteer at this event. And if you're there, think outside the box. You know, be be proactive. If you see something that's going on, get in there and try and, and help. I heard you tell one story, and, and this is my last question. I promise. Sure. I heard you tell a story. There was uh, an intern of yours who you brought on because she took out the trash. <laughs> yeah. So we had a, a charity event okay. for um, an NFL player. We were producing it. And she was a, a student and asked if she could help. I said, you know, we have some events if you want to come and volunteer. She volunteered. And there was, you know, a huge uh, trash bin that was filling up. And, you know, it was simple as she saw that there was a need. She brought it out. And, um, you know, you're, you, you'd be amazed at some, most people would just stand there and not even think that, you know, this is a professional event. It needs to look good. We can't have the trash overflowing. And so, you know, she did that. She went on to intern for us. Um, she went on to work part-time for us while she was still in law school. And then she was hired full-time. And then when I left that agency, she became the head in-house counsel there. Wow. And now she is um, overseeing a, um, a, a charity that does a lot of work with professional athletes, and she still does athlete appearances. And, you know, she's been now in the business for 10 years. 
amazing. That's incredible. Even the yeah. smallest thing is going to have that ripple effect. Absolutely. Kristen, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining Thank you. us. Again, Great. Sports Management Worldwide, Thanks. this is by far one of the best conferences to be at. Eric Wilson from the Sports Arena. We will talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Thank you.